two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you were to ask most of your Hanachim about what the Omer is, is, they will tell you that it is during this period we mourn the death of Rabbi Akiva's 24,000 students who died because they did not treat each other with respect. There is nothing wrong with this answer, but it seems a bit superficial. Let's take a brief tour through of the Omer throughout the ages. The very first time that the period of the Omer was mentioned was around three and a half thousand years ago when the children of Israel quite famously left Egypt. It took 49 days following their departure until their arrival at Sinai and receipt of the Torah. For them, the highlight at the end was receiving the Torah, and for us, we have the festival of Shavuot, also the giving of the Torah, it's Man Matan Torah Tenu. This is the most original idea of 49 days. However, can this explain the counting? Why would you count up and not down? Surely they should have been getting closer to the giving of the Torah, not counting away from the Exodus. Take a step back and think without hindsight. If you were one of the Jews leaving Egypt, the events which had just happened were surely the greatest you had ever seen. The plagues and the entire show which Hashem put on would shape your life forever. As such, it would make sense that this marked a new beginning for the Jewish people. They had already been commanded to establish the calendar for themselves, so it would make sense that they were counting away from what happened. Oh, in this sense, the period of the Omer signifies the movement of the children of Israel both physically and spiritually away from the society of Egypt towards the most formative of experiences, the giving of the Ten Commandments. The second aspect of the Omer, as it is commanded in the Torah, links very closely to the agricultural life of the Jewish people once they had settled in the land of Israel. The Omer is a unit of measurement, and on the second day of Pesach, an Omer of barley was cut down and brought to the temple as an offering. This signified that people could begin to eat from the new harvest. The Omer would last until Shavuot, when two loaves of bread would be brought to the temple to signify the beginning of the wheat harvest. The period of the Omer was an almost natural one that farming folk would be turned into anyway. Do you think that some mitzvah add a spiritual dimension to the things that we would do in any case? The third aspect of the Omer is the one that we spoke about before, the rabbinic version, where we, where we remember the 24,000 students of Rabbi Akiva that died apparently because they did not behave nice enough to each other. The period of the Omer has another interesting parallel. The Jewish calendar is quite symmetrical. Exactly six months apart, we have Pesach and Sukkot, both festivals which are about a week long, with Yontif at the beginning and end, and Cholamod in the middle. However, Sukkot has, an, has another festival tagged on, Shmini Atzeret, an eighth day which brings the Chag to a close. The date of Shavuot is not mentioned in the Torah at all. It is just referred to as 50 days after Pesach, and as such, it closes the circle. Shavuot is the completion of the Pesach story. Unlike the Prince of Egypt, it is not a happy ending for the Jews to stand triumphantly in the, in the desert. Instead, the receiving of the Torah and the building of the nation is the ultimate goal and must be celebrated. Shavuot is a, is a Chag which is decided by our ability to count. In, in the leaving of Egypt, the Jews were involved in a process during those 49 days. It was one thing that they had gone out of Egypt but only by doing something themselves, by counting the days and battling through, could they get rid of the Egypt inside of them. The Omer can present each of us with a personal challenge, but we have to apply it to our lives and see that throughout our history it has been experienced differently. But we must ensure that we keep counting the val and value the days as they come to make our achievements, whatever they are, greater than ever. We are presented with the opportunity to ascend spiritually. 
level upon level. The days of the Omer are the key days of the entire year. These days are so saturated with spiritual power that during every day of Spirit to Omer, unbeknownst to people subconsciously, normal everyday street conversations that people are having, they're actually referring to the deepest levels of tikkun hamidot, of changing according to the different layers and levels of emanation of divine light that are being broadcast and resonating during these days. You know what the main thing in Spirit to Omer is to become a person, the person that we could be.